this week. Honestly, I don't know, because I wore this thing yesterday, and so I'm guessing they just copy and pasted it over for today. <laughs> I don't know. But the normal stuff, I guess. I don't know. Can you put into words just the emotions, you know, when y'all were running, running together and dogpiling there? The um, it was super cool, and it's something we had talked about and kind of dreamed, you know, before the season even started. Um, that's always been a part of our goal, and obviously our biggest goal is to, you know, win the whole thing. But it was super special for this team and for the program and everything. That was, I was also really just happy for Coach Beef. It was awesome. Past two weeks, the uh, Coral Gables and Hattiesburg. What do you feel has just clicked to make y'all kind of like the team? Maybe everybody felt y'all could do all year. Yeah, I think like our biggest thing was like we're we're putting both the offense and the defense together now. You know, a lot of the times earlier in the season, if we whenever we weren't doing as well, it's like our pitching was doing well, and then our hitters weren't, or our hitters were doing well, and our pitching wasn't. Um, but it seems like lately we're kind of putting it all together, which is cool. Any extra relief heading into the tournament, knowing you guys will have to face Tennessee? <laughs> um, yeah, man, they're they're a great team, and um, it's crazy that they're out. I don't think anybody would have thought that they'd be out. Um, yeah, it probably does, to be honest with you. They're they're an unbelievable team when we play them. Talk about what you've seen with uh, you know Garrett Wood offensively in two out of three games, he's reaching base multiple times. I mean, what have you kind of seen from him? I think the coolest thing for him is is he is. I don't think anybody would argue he is the best teammate we have. Like he's been there for us the whole year. He's been around cheering us on and stuff, and, and everybody knew he was capable of doing it. Coach B says it all the time, like, if I'm going to put you in, I believe in you, and I believe that you're going to get it done and, and um, help the team out. And it, it is really cool for us. I, I think everybody was excited to see him do well. It's pretty wild that there's four SEC West teams in the College World Series. Yeah, I mean, that's why you come to play in the SEC. It's, it's, I believe it's the best, you know, um, conference there is out there, the best amateur baseball you could probably play. Um, it is really cool. It's awesome for the SEC. Did you watch that game three last night in Corvallis? Or? Um, a little bit. I started watching it. We've got a huge pickleball game that we've been playing recently, so I've, we went and played some pickleball. But, yeah, it was. I watched a little bit of it. When you all get there Thursday for practice, just for you, what's kind of going to be the emotions getting in that stadium for the first time, taking BP? And then... Yeah, I don't know exactly uh, how I'm going to feel. I mean, I'm going to obviously be really excited. I don't know what it's like. I've never been. Um, I'm sure there will be some nerves, some, some chills walking into the stadium and everything. But... Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I got to know who, who plays pickleball, who's the best pickleball player. <laughs> um, so me, Garrett, Garrett Wood, um, Drew McDaniel, Banks, Tolly, Kemp. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kemp is not the best player. <laughs> I'm not lie. Um, there's a couple of us that go. We just, I mean, we're not that great at it. We just start playing. But, boy, is it fun. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> whenever, you, you know, Whenever you've played in a big environment, you know, at any point during your career, you know, whether whether it be in Arlington or whether it be, you know, here, and when you get in those big games, what's and if there is any nerves running? What's kind of your just mentality coming in, or how do you kind of overcome that? Yeah, I think the biggest thing I started doing recently is a lot of visualization. Um, I think I think I'm I believe a lot that thoughts become things, and um, to be able to visualize me hitting the ball or or fielding a ground ball or anything like that, I really do think it helps a lot, and I try to do that kind of stuff and. Um, even just the preparation that we've done and we practice I mean, almost every single day now, it's, you have a lot of confidence that just gets built up from the amount of work you've put into it. Getting to play Auburn, a team you guys have already faced this year, does that give you any comfort as a player, kind of knowing what their team looks like a little bit? Um, sure. I mean, we played them early, so, so I think both of us are in different points in our, our season now. Um, they're no doubt going to be a good team, and, but I think, yeah, if we, if we go out there and play the way we're capable of playing, I think we're capable of beating anybody, yeah. Crushing the ball third time through the lineup. What is it about this team that can make those adjustments on the fly? What, what, where is the strength of adjustment? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like uh, earlier, I don't know what clicked exactly, but it just seems to be something that um, we've started to do and something that we believe we were able to do all year. It's just um, we haven't quite been able to do it until just recently. Um, I think probably a little bit of that is, is having a really good hitting coach. <laughs> I think that helps a lot. But yeah, I don't know exactly what has honestly clicked. I don't know.